Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Lydia and I make a ton of health and fitness videos here on YouTube. Like the title says, we are just going to get straight into it today. We are going to talk about what is in my gym bag. So to give you a little preface on my workout routine, um, I have a video that I made about this. I can link that in the description bar about what a typical week of workouts looks like for me. But I'm the type of person who likes kind of doing everything. I like yoga, I like spin, I like Pilates, I like boot camp, I like weightlifting, I like running. I kind of dabble in a little bit of everything, <laughs> which if you're trying to hit your goals is really not the best thing, but I digress. Typically I try and lift or do some sort of HIIT workout, boot camp style, either a class or on my own in my garage gym about three to four times a week. And then I try to run a few times a week, whether that's on my own or with the cross country team I coach. And I will throw in a spin class, Pilates class, yoga class. I haven't been to yoga in a while, um, but I would like to go back, but we all know why we can't go right now because COVID. So, we are going to go through my gym bag today. Hopefully this video won't be super long and we're just going to get straight into it. So this is my gym bag. It is the City Adventure bag from Lululemon. Oh no, I'm staying disregard. So this is what it looks like. I got this gym bag last Christmas. It was actually a gift from my in-laws. So thank you so much, Tanya and Tony, you guys are the best. Before I had this gym bag, I was literally using one of these like Lululemon bags, like the kind you get when you buy something. I just literally threw all my stuff in here. So to say this is an upgrade is, it's an upgrade, let me tell you. So when I went to make this video, I thought about, okay, what should I put in my gym bag to like make sure I have like the right things in there and you know, have what everyone's supposed to have in a gym bag. Um, but I decided to make this authentic, raw, real. I didn't put anything in here. I literally went to the gym this morning and I took this and now I'm gonna go through what's in it. And we're gonna find out together what I actually keep in my gym bag. Also, there we're gonna talk about the City Adventure backpack from Lululemon. I'll show you some of the features because I do think this is a really great gym bag and I would highly recommend this bag. So I'll just go over the features as I go through the different pockets and tell you what's in it. So we first have this big pocket in the front. So in the main pocket area here, I have a phone thing. So this is the thing that you put on your arm to make sure that your phone, like you don't have to hold your phone while you're running. Not the coolest thing in the world, but it's really effective. I got this one off Amazon. I think it was like 10 bucks. They're kind of all the same, but if you're a runner, these are a game changer. Next, I have my track and cross country keys. I coach at a local high school, so I have all my keys in my gym bag because this is what I bring to practice too. So I can always open up the track. Next, we have two pairs of Pilates socks. Um, I definitely don't need both pairs in here, but whenever I wash my Pilates socks, I just put them right back into my gym bag so I'm never worrying about where they are because these are the only two pairs of Pilates socks I own. So if you don't know, Pilates socks are required to wear when you do Pilates. They have little grippies on the bottom. This one is just a normal pair of socks with stars on it. I have a pair of toe socks with an opening and then your toes go through here. So I honestly prefer the toe socks, but I have both in here just in case. And so if one's dirty, I always have an extra pair and just put them right back in after I wash them. Next, I have my lifting gloves. So when I lift, I don't really like getting calluses on my hands. Like I don't think anyone really does unless you're a dude. So I have lifting gloves. Again, um, I don't really know where I got these. They're just, I think they're Andrew's old ones. Um, they're not the cutest again to wear, but they are really effective if you're doing anything that requires you to lift and really grab the barbells or dumbbells. Um, they're really nice to have to kind of alleviate calluses and like hex bars. I hate the feeling of hex bars on my hands. So it's always nice to have these in my bag if I'm going to the normal gym or the garage gym or just a class that I may need these gloves for. <laughs> so I talked about all the different workouts I like doing and I do so many different types of workouts. Um, I also have boxing wraps in here. Um, I've honestly only been to this boxing studio once, but they forced me to buy these wraps. So now I have boxing wraps in my gym bag just in case I ever need them. I will say these are really nice because they're basically gloves you put on and then you wrap around. So really nice boxing gloves just in case. 
because, you know, why not throw a boxing day in there too with every other workout I do. Then the last thing I have in the main part of my gym bag is these facial tissues. So these facial tissues are just so I can wash my face. Um, I guess not wash, they're like wipes. So they're facial tissue wipes. They're not like makeup remover or anything, but just so I can wipe my face off after I get sweaty so I don't break out or anything like that. I honestly forget I have these in my gym bag a lot, but these are super nice in case you can't shower right after your workout. I can just wipe my face really quick and at least my face won't be sweaty anymore. And that is it for the main part of the backpack. So that is everything. A cool feature of this is they have a water bottle little casing inside so you can stick your water bottle in here. I do usually have a water bottle in here but I took it out this morning. And that is the main part of the backpack. Then we have this little zipper area that just has a little zip. And in here I have some hair ties because you never want to forget a hair tie. I have my personal training certification card. I don't really know why I have this in here but I didn't really know where else to put it and I'm like at least it's like nice to have in your gym bag I guess. So. Then I have a little Kapari deodorant. This is a natural deodorant brand. I really, really like this one. And this is just a mini guy, so in case I forget to put on deodorant at the gym, just swoop, swoop. It's always nice to have an extra little deodorant around. Then I have some tampons, speaks for itself. Some cash, just in case, I guess. I have two different pens, another hair tie, and then also bobby pins. So my hair was long, I had the worst little rat's tail, so I always needed bobby pins around. So I have bobby pins like everywhere. <laughs> then last but not least, I have some mascara. Um, I have my eyelashes done right now, so I don't really need it. Um, and I used to teach fitness classes too, so it was always nice to have mascara in case I was like running from place to place and just wanted to put myself together a little bit. So that is this little pocket right here. This is really great. It's also really cute because it says items of importance right there. I don't have anything in these next few pockets, but I think it should be noted if you're looking at this backpack. So it has a spot for your laptop. So it opens up back here and it's the best little place to put your laptop in there. It is like perfect and like right against your back. So I guess you could put other things in here, but I really think it's meant for a laptop and that I do put my laptop in here sometimes, especially when I was teaching spin and things like that and brought my laptop. Forgot I actually have these guys in here. These are like what they packed Balance Athletica's activewear in. I like using these and just keeping these every time I buy activewear. And then I put my sweaty clothes in here, zip it up and then put it back in here. So my sweaty clothes, or I put it in the main pocket because I don't want my sweaty clothes touching anything else. So anytime I get active wear and they come with these little like Ziploc big baggies, I just keep them and throw them back here so I can put all my sweaty clothes in them and it doesn't get everything else super sweaty. Another cool little pocket is on the side of the backpack. You can unzip right there. And it's just the tiniest little pocket to put some things in. Oh, I have a debit card in there. Um, you know, just gotta make sure you got money anywhere you go. It's really convenient because it's right kind of where you'd grab on your backpack. So it's a super convenient pocket to put your wallet. I put my keys in there when I'm walking into the gym or something like that, um, or my AirPods. So love this little pocket because it's just super easy to grab things in it. Okay, and the last pocket I'm gonna show you is actually the reason I asked for this backpack. It is my favorite thing about this backpack and truly the reason I asked my in-laws to get it for me it is this pocket on the bottom. It's kind of hard to see because the backpack is black, but we have this pocket right at the bottom. It opens up and this is where I keep my spin shoes. So I'm an avid spinner. I used to teach spin classes. So having a place to put my spin shoes is so nice. Like I said, when I just had the old Lululemon bag before, I literally took a smaller Lululemon bag, put my shoes in it, and then put that in the bigger Lululemon bag. So to have a space for my spin shoes, it's so freaking nice. So these are the spin shoes I have that I always keep because if I'm going to go to a class, most likely I'm gonna to go to a spin class because I have a gym in my garage now and I just love spinning so much. These are specialized spin shoes. I have the Look Delta Clips, which are the bigger triangle clips. SPD clips are the small little clips that you'll see. So I highly recommend Look Delta. I think they're way better. They make you feel more secure in your foot um, and just kind of give you a bitter, bigger grounding point for your pedal stroke, I believe. So yeah, these are from Specialized. I don't really know how much they cost either, but I'll look it up. Um, I actually got these because I helped out with the Specialized photo shoot at Cycle Bar. So I got these for free 
and love them. I also highly recommend having your own spin shoes. I recommend white, because I think white are just so much cuter too. And then inside of my spin shoe, I always keep stretch. So this is a spray that I spray inside my spin shoes to keep them nice and fresh, um, keep them smelling good. But it also says that you can spray it on clothes, shoes, yoga mats, athletic gloves, workout gear, bags, helmets, equipment, and so much more. So it's kind of just a spray that's supposed to take away any odor, it's supposed to neutralize it. Um, I mean, there's a little hint of something, but these smell pretty good for having them for like two years. Last thing, I always keep a pair of socks in the compartment with my spin shoes too because there's been so many times I have gotten to a spin class and I don't have socks and I either have to spin with no socks on, which is disgusting and feels awful, or there has been a time where I've spun in my Pilates socks, but again, wouldn't recommend it. So I started just keeping a pair of socks in the compartment with my spin shoes so I always have them and know that they're there and good to go. And now we're gonna, we're gonna pack the bag back up, try and organize it. Good thing there's no trash in here, like it wasn't, I was afraid that there was going to be some like weird gross stuff, but honestly, this is all great stuff to have in your gym bag. The only other things I can think of that I might keep in my gym bag that I wasn't in it right now is maybe a phone charger. Sometimes I keep some pre-workout in there. Um, but again, if you're going to like leave it in your car and it changes temperatures, you don't really want to have pre-workout in there. I've also run into that where my pre-workout got really gross because I left it in my gym bag and just kept like bringing it around with me and not keeping it in a cool place. But those are all the things that I have in my gym bag. Let me know down in the comments below if there was anything I missed. This was again my like raw, real, I didn't put anything in there or like plan out this video at all. I literally just had my gym bag opened it and we went through it. So let me know if I missed anything important in the comments and all the things that I talked about that I think are worth um, linking down below, I will link down below. Um, I do really recommend the Kapari deodorant. I love that stuff. I love the stretch, stench. I really love the spray that I use for my spin shoes. I love the spin shoes I have. So whatever I can link, I will link down below if you are interested in it. That is just to be helpful, nothing other than that. Subscribe if you haven't already and like the video to show me what kind of videos you want me to make. I upload new videos every single Saturday. So I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye.